My song Fall In Love is actually just a song that I created just for you to like vibe out in the car to, you can dance to. Like I want my music just for like people to smile and have like a happy vibe and just feel so released. It actually wasn't like inspired like like by a person or anything. I just felt, I feel as if my fans actually inspired me to do it because they was giving me feedback that I should actually put out music because I put out a snippet. I put out a snippet on Instagram and I was just like mumble rapping, like literally mumbling, like you couldn't hear anything I was saying, like to a beat. And they was like, yo, this song is fire. Like, is this on SoundCloud? Like I would definitely bump it. And I was like, all right, I need to definitely go to the studio since they feeling this, like it actually was just mumbling. So I feel I should get serious with their music. When I first heard it on the radio, um, I just felt, I felt as if it was, that this is actually, it's gonna be a career. I felt this is just, it's just the on, only the beginning. Actually, somebody texted me. One of my friends texted me and was like, yo, your song, I just heard it on the radio. And I was like, for real? So then I went in there and then I heard it, like a little snippet, just a little snippet of it. They didn't play the full song of it yet, but it was a little snippet on 92Q. And I was, I, I was shocked with that. I was amazed with that. My journey is, it's actually been pretty, it's, it all happened so quick, but it also took time because before I wanted to actually make it like hoop dreams, like I wanted to go to the NBA. Cause I can actually hoop too, but I figured my height was like, like so short, like I, I won't make it to the NBA. So I had a talk on the phone with my boys, Dwayne and Nate. And they was like, yo, you should like start posting Vine videos. You could get famous on Vine for it. And I was like, for real? And he was like, yeah. So then I looked into Vine and then I seen like all the exposure these Viners were getting. I started posting videos and then it just started taking off for me. How to hook up with Nick was actually, he saw that I was making videos, right? So he contacted me, he had records out. So he wanted me to dance to his record. And he was using me as a promotional piece because he see that I, all the like exposure I was getting these artists. So he contacted me through uh, my man's Ace. Uh, he was asking me um, to dance to his record, see if I could make a challenge out of it. And then I did that. And then we just started bonding together ever since. My EP definitely is going to be fun. I can't wait for the EP to drop because actually I got one song that my fans wanted me to drop so bad, like first, but I didn't drop it. I, I saved that. And I think that was actually smart for me to do that because now it's gonna keep them waiting. And they're, they're still waiting. They still contact me every day. Yo, when you gonna drop this? When you gonna drop this? Please drop this. And I'm like, I want to, but we, we gotta hold on right now. So um, yeah, it's called What To Do. That's gonna be on the EP. I think that, that's gonna do, that's gonna do really good. It's all my music is like fun. You can dance to every single song. It's all fit and you all can like smile and just vibe out to the car, just listen, ride down the road, just drive in your car, listening to the music. It's definitely like music that will make you feel released.